Okay, Cyber Monday edition. Um, yeah, I ain't shaved. Um, I'm a dirty bird. <laughs> ain't got no place to go today. Matter of fact, the only thing I'm <clears throat> probably going to do is I got a um, uh, check engine light. Fortunately, I have a, uh, uh, a reader. I stuffed it back in the little thing here that I purchased during Prime Day. It just came in handy. Didn't have to go to the mechanic. It was uh, a mass airflow sensor. So um, it's usually caused by a dirty um, filter, which I think my filter what probably was dirty. So I went and bought a filter and bought the cleaner. So I'll just clean that sucker and call it good because the light's actually going out now. But I'm going to go get that thing taken care of. Uh, I don't know because I did. You know, sometimes when people shop on Amazon, now, the spray was cheaper at the local auto store, but the filter, man, oh, crap. It was like three times the cost on Amazon. <laughs> oh, man. So I just said, no, the hell with it. So uh, I was going to probably do a different uh, subject today, but today one is real interesting. So a while back, uh, you know, I did 23 and DNA, uh, 23 and me, and I did the full profile and the health profile, the whole nine. So every once in a while, you know, they give you those, uh, you have a DNA match, you look through them, it's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Fourth cousin, all this bullshit. So one day I get one first cousin. So I reach out to the guy and the guy's from my hometown. That really makes it uh, interesting, right? Not only did it pop up first cousins, but he's from my hometown in the south. So, uh, <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. I, I no, we correspond back and forth through 23 and me. And last one, I guess he sent me, I never did notice. But when I go in today, cause I saw an email from 23 and me about uh, DNA relevance. And I thought about this dude. And then I, uh, sent him a message like, oh man, he sent me a message back. I, I guess uh, maybe the email went in the spam from 23 and me. Probably should have got his real email or phone number or something. So anyway, it's like, oh, this is a perfect day. I'm calling uh, my parents today because, you know, it's my uh, father's birthday. Okay. So I call, I get my mother on the line first. And I say, hey, hey before I do anything else, I got to, before I forget, I got to talk about something. So I talked about 23 and Me and how I got a match back of a first cousin. Well, actually, before I even did that, talked about the first cousin, I said, do you know this person? Uh, do you know this person? And she just starts talking. You know, my mother talks. No, 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 talk. And then I mentioned the fact that I got a DNA match of a first cousin. They happen to be from this town. Which probably means first cousin. I probably should be not know what I, I ought to tell some damn family shit here, man. So anyway, I had a uncle. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm gonna leave it vague. Who had a kid he didn't know about for like until the kid was like 18. The mother knew that uh you know he was the father. The kid didn't know. The husband didn't know. <laughs> but anyway, um he's integrated in fairly well into the family. I've only met him one time at a uh, wedding of another cousin. So anyway, when I mentioned these names, you know, she said she really didn't know, and but one of the names, she said maybe somehow related to us or something, but this is where it gets strange. And I talk about how this thing came back with me having a first cousin and them coming from the same uh, town, and then it was interesting, it was I even talked about it, she goes, yeah, uh, they lived on this side of town. That's where this dude lived. <laughs> and then when I told her about the first cousin thing, she just started talking about everything else. When I started talking about DNA came back, that I have a first cousin in this town, on that side of town, Something tells me somebody knows something. <laughs> Something tells me. 
somebody knows something. Well, I don't know. Uh, all I know is I have a first cousin running around. <sighs> Gonna be interesting. But then again, hold on. There's actually another side of the family to think about. And then it's all of them. There's a side of my family I hadn't seen and or heard from in, in decades. Although one time when I was still on active duty, I went. It was so funny because I went to my grand by my grandmother's house where she had already passed. And I was actually looking for information on where she was buried because I just wanted to go pay my respects because I couldn't make it uh, from my duty station and everything. So anyway, I mean, think about the South and how it is. And there's this dude over here and he's like, what? He calls out my name and everything. And it's like, is that you? I'm like, what? I mean, I'm a grown ass man. This dude hadn't seen me since I was a kid. Unless he'd been seeing pictures. Maybe my grandmother showed him pictures. He was like an uncle or something. So all I can think of is maybe my grandmother was saying, showing him pictures. Because there's no way I could look like I did as a kid. <laughs> but uh, I didn't even think about that. could be from that side. Yeah, yeah. That side had a lot of kids. A lot of kids, which means there's a lot of possibilities over there. Damn. I need to contact old boy again and then start, because I, I only talked about one side of family. I didn't think, even think about talking about the other side. Oh, snap. Okay, I'm not, I, I may have something. But anyway, it's going to be interesting. And then it makes me like want to like get on a plane and go back home. And like, I ain't seen some of these mugs in like forever. Because like I had one uncle who was like my age. I remember growing up with him. You know how like you grow up with an uncle who's damn near your age? He's like, like two years older than me. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, that grandmama, she had a lot of children. A lot of children. So many I don't even know. <laughs> well, anyway, those are the family secrets being spilled. But the fact that my mother changed the conversation when I talked about a, a cousin that I found through DNA and mentioned names, that tells you something. That tells you something. Anyway, I'm done for the day. Uh, I'm just trying to catch up. A uh, whole bunch of crap I got to get done. And uh, I'm trying to get somebody signed up, signed tomorrow, seller. So his house is done and crap. Did work out this morning. Got uh, Spanish type Lingoda. I finished Lingoda up. And um, I don't know, in my opinion, because it said it was supposed to end on the 21st. On the 21st, when I logged in, I was already locked out of the account. Fortunately, they were having a sell so like everybody else as i'm sitting here okay i gotta get done with this see y'all guys later bye